Blue doing some old female shit, man. I ain't respecting that. I understand y'all going back and forth. You know, you say he ain't no good CEO. And he ain't do this for you. He ain't put up no money. Let you tell it. But you bringing in other niggas' names. Saying what niggas in the crew done said. I'm talking about your post or DMs or whatever you got. Like, that's some whole shit, man. Like, that'll make a nigga want to knock you down, man. Straight up. If I'm a nigga in his entourage, I'm going to tell the boss, man, let me knock you down. Straight up. Like, I crash out. I do the 20 or the 30. But if I knock you down, I ask him, like, if I knock him down, is you still going to get your money? Is that going to fuck up the money? Or is that going to bring too much heat? God damn, you trying to fuck up my position. Because you trying to get some straightening with this nigga. Nigga, keep my name out this shit, man. Tell me you going to expose some shit, nigga. I ain't with none of that, though. Yeah, nigga, acting like a little female, man. Just to win an argument. Nigga, y'all handle that shit in court. What you bringing up other niggas for? Fucking up their paper. This ain't got nothing to do with them. Yeah, now you got Boosie looking at this nigga's funny. Like, nigga wanna knock you down for that, man. You understand? Like, where you learn that shit from, man? I know you going through a lot, your whole. I mean, you cheating with old girl and. You flow out, the little skinny little bitch with the long tongue. Like, I don't know why you even attracted to her. She ain't got nothing but a long tongue. What that special about her? What the fuck you flying her out for? Private jet, nigga. You a sucker for love, nigga. Put that little hole in a private jet. Lame ass, nigga. You a trick, nigga. Yeah, that's what you is, nigga. Lost your whole family behind a little skinny toothpick. Nigga. Bitch ain't even about no money. You can't even shut the hole. You can't even put fear in the hole. You ain't talking like you some stump down nigga. You ain't no player, nigga. You a trick, nigga. Come on, man. She stick her tongue out. You gonna fly on a private jet, lame man, nigga. Come on, man. What type of time you on, man? You gonna fuck up your family with that? For that? Man. You doing some old boy ass shit, man. <laughs> Trying to make Boosie look like he flawed, but nigga, it's you, nigga. That's what I feel like, nigga, it's you. Nah, nigga. You got what you saying about Boosie, Boosie got what he's saying. He's saying you ain't had no jury. He was wearing his meats. He was paying, uh, he was getting you 10,000 here, 20,000 now. Come on, man, you signed that deal, nigga. You signed that deal. So it don't matter what he did for you or what he didn't do. You talking like that little girl from BR, nigga? What, you got a vagina or something, nigga? You ain't did nothing for me, but you signed a piece of paper. He telling us what he did for you. He telling us. Nigga, I gave you this, I gave you that. Nigga, of course he ain't got damn. He ain't gonna spend a quarter million for your video. He ain't gonna spend this, he ain't gonna do that. He don't do that for himself. Damn me, he ain't do nothing for you. Tell me he ain't do nothing for you. Like, he brought you on the stage. He gave you his fan base. He gave you his audience. Nigga. He brought you to the water. Nigga, drink. Ain't you drinking? Some shit, nigga. I can't take your side when you doing whole shit. I ain't finna do that. Nigga talking about he gonna start exposing niggas' names and exposing DMs like a female, man. You sound like that little bitch that exposed you that made you lose your wife. You sound like her. You might well go ahead and call her back. Fly her back. Send another PJ. Send another PJ, man. Man, man, nigga. Paying thirty five hundred. I hope you ain't paid the thirty thousand. I hope you let it get on another private jet, somebody else private jet. You paid the three or four grand. Trick ass nigga. Yeah. You singing your raps? So I hope you ain't talking that gangster shit because I ain't trying to hit none of that from you. If I'm boosting niggas. I'm trying to knock you down though when I catch you, cause you, especially if I feel like you talking about me. If I said something to you, nigga, be a man. Nigga, stand on ten. You gonna expose some shit, man. Trying to knock me out of my position. Trying to send me back to the hood. Now, I can't go back to the hood. Now, I got too much beef. Niggas trying to kill me, nigga. So, nigga, I'd rather knock you down. Nigga. This mansion shit, all I got, nigga. You got a career. The fans liking you. They like your songs, nigga. I ain't got that. Yeah, I'm signed too, just like you. Yeah, I wish my shit could take off just like you. But, shit, this the best I got right now. You trying to fuck that up for me. Because you got an issue with him. Nigga, we ain't fall out. I ain't, I ain't talk no shit about you. 
I ain't made no Instagram post. I ain't made no IG post, no Facebook post. What you bringing my name up or threatening to bring my name up for? I'm trying to fuck up how I live, nigga. Yeah, nigga. But who raised you? Who raised you? Your mama? Yeah. I understand. I can see that. Your mama. Yeah. Trick ass nigga. Put a bitch on the PJ because she got a long tongue. She ain't worth nothing. Bitch ain't about nothing. Man, this nigga Young Blue talking like he a cold blooded killer sometime or some. He beat Boosie ass and he ain't never ran down on him and his bones brittle and he beat the dog shit out of him and mention my wife again and you hit your mama, you bust the windows out and we can box you, cry baby, don't bring them broke ass niggas. But you talking heavy, nigga. <laughs> and Boosie don't fight, man. What you talking about, man? Do that shit in prison or something, man? But <laughs> oh, you must want to go. Well, Big Marquee at. Yeah, like, you must ain't heard about the last nigga that put his hands on Boosie, man. Like, you want to go lay with Big Marquee. Yeah, that's how you want to go out. That's how you want to close your book. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll dig a hole for you right beside him. Nigga, dig a hole for you right beside him, man. Because, like, you put your hands on Boosie, if you ever get a chance, like, you'll die before you hit the ground. You know that, man. You know that, man, like, I don't feel like you could talk to Boosie like that, man. You got to at least have about five biters under your belt. At least got to have at least two or, like, three. You know what I mean? I say two, a good two, and they cold-blooded killers. A good two, and they real steppers. They real steppers. Then, yeah, you can talk heavy, but, nah, you got to be, to talk to Boosie like that, you got to be a BR nigga. You need to be a New Orleans nigga, uh... A Louisiana nigga, like, you need to be one of these type of niggas, man. Or, like, a gangster, a real stepper in your city. Other than that, man, your reputation don't match, man. Like, you a trick, man. You easy to hit. You easy to hit, man. You a fly dealer, bitch. Come on, that's all it take. That's all it take. Oh, man, you hit, man. We'll just send a bitch at you that'll knock you down. Like Birdman told Drewski. Now, I got females that'll step on you. Like, you easy, man. You the shoulders, that Send a hole at you. <laughs> we know what you like. It ain't hard. You'll take skinny holes, flat-chested, no ass, long tongue, easy. So you send a the bitch, they got a body, you going. All they got to do is be playing your music in the background or get your attention some type of way. Yeah, we pay for a, a, a say cheese post or academic post or something. Yeah, you'll slide in the DM tricking that nigga. Yeah, man, you representing Alabama the wrong way, man. Some real niggas in Alabama, some real steppers, some real monsters, some real trappers down that bitch, man. Some real cutthroat niggas, man. You ain't representing Alabama right, man. Come on, man. Like, you already look like a dyke. You already look like a dyke, man. Come on, man. Tripping, man. <laughs> you need to get your rank up, talking about whooping a, a killer like that. You need to get your rank up. You don't matter how you done it, it got done. It don't matter how you done, it got done, man. So you need to get, yeah, like. It sounds good, though. You one of them niggas that can talk good as a, no, ho. You one of them niggas that can type good as a bitch. I understand, like, that's how you trying to come, like. Yeah, but you got to show us something, man. Boosted and showed shoulder something, man. You got to show us something, man. Hey, Blue, man, you ain't known for solving your math problems by murder. That ain't how you kick it. That ain't how you giving it up, man. You don't rule like that. You don't rule like that. You don't solve all your little issues by murder. You don't get a nigga gone, man. So why you talking like that, man? Why you talking like that? Like you can just put your hands on a high-ranking member. Come on, man. Like, yeah, there ain't going to be no new big marquees running around here, man. There ain't going to be none of that, that, man. You got to get up on a nigga. You get up on a nigga, you make him get something off. But nah, man, like, when you keep taking shots at his niggas and shit, man, you like, you really want a war? You only talking like that because you know Boosie fighting that fed case. Yeah, you trying to make him crash out. You trying to make him crash out. Like, you know you ain't trying to take it to the street. You know that. So, man, you ain't got to do all that, man. You ain't got to do all that, man. Like, we ain't even got to bring up your wife. That's your bitch. That's your issue, man. Like, we ain't even going to do all that there with your wife and all that there. You handle that there when your own time. You understand? But... Amen, but you feel like how you feel. 
You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. And nigga, you're lucky this ain't 09 2010 Boosie. Nigga, Marlon Mike would have been all over your ass, nigga. You'd have been zipped up, nigga. You would have been got zipped up. You know that. You know in the streets you would have been got zipped up, boy. Yeah, you lucky this the new Boosie. The family man. Yeah, nigga, you don't want them problems. <laughs> this the only way you gonna win against Boosie. Or you got a voice on IG. Start talking and expose the shit like you some big dog, like you got some fear in the streets, like you some stumped down ass nigga, man. Like you done shed blood, sweat, tears in this shit, nigga. You, nigga, you tripping, man. You need to check yourself, nigga. Nigga, before you check in in the hospital, nigga. You understand? Like, nigga, just pay the money. And nigga, you get in the back end, you got a million, nigga. Shut them up, pay the money, shut them up. And nigga, Go get your money, nigga. You can get another million. You get money, right? Yeah, nigga, sell out in court. Do something, man. Because this shit what you talking about, this shit ain't working, man. You need to find another way to diss. <laughs> you need to find another way to diss. Bring other niggas' names up and shit like a hoe. They ain't got nothing to do with it. I can see if they fucked you over. Or something, at least they give you a better excuse. Or they owed you some money, or they done robbed you, or whatever. Did your bath with your wife? They ain't did none of that. They just telling you how they feel, man. You know, thinking you somebody they can vent to. You know, thinking you somebody that they can share the same pain with. Nigga, we going through the same shit, nigga. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, if that's the case, both of y'all wrong. You and Boosie. Wussy probably did some shit he could have did better, and you did some shit you could have did better. Some of some rock nation told you you giving Boosie too much power. You dumb or you crazy for giving him that much power or that much money or whatever. But nigga, you should have listened then, nigga. You still went back. You still went back. Yeah, nigga, so shit. Nigga, deal with it. Nigga, stand on team with it. Ain't like a female, man. Got a lot of female traits in you, man. Beta male? You ain't no alpha male, nigga. You flying out thoughts and shit on PJs and shit, nigga. Nigga, she get coached, nigga. First class at its best. This if she look like something and she tough and she having her own paper and or she can get you some more paper. Nigga. Bitch go viral one time. You know what I'm saying? You just fall right in the trap. PJ. Nigga, so what you do for a bitch like little baby baby mama or a sweetie? Nigga, you empty out the bank account. You'll split that, you'll bust that whole million down for her, for sweetie. <laughs> you'll bust that whole million down for goddamn your Miami. If that little toothpick can get you, <laughs> that little ghetto ass bitch can get you, nigga, you'll bust a whole bag for her, for JT or your Miami or Sexy Red or somebody like that. Nigga, you sweet, nigga. All the hoes should be on your neck. Nigga, you sweet. And nigga, I've been telling y'all niggas Boosie ain't the best CEO. Like, I mean, examples you need. Like, that ain't his lane. But that don't mean he ain't do shit for you. All his shit can come from behind the scenes. Yeah, he ain't know your guy that nigga. A lot of niggas, don't just say Boosie not one. A lot of rappers not know your guy that nigga. Ain't nobody in your guy that lane. No rapper is. It's no rapper CEO or your guy that nigga. None of them. So what the fuck you talking about? Don't compare Boosie to know your guy that when... You can't compare no rapper to Yo Gotti. Do you know who the fuck Yo Gotti is and what he doing right now with that label? So what the fuck is you talking about? Lucy is a stronger person as far as like doing promo. Like if he tell you, like if he post you and say go buy this or fuck with this comedian and all that there, you'll start getting shows and shit like that. But him with an artist, that ain't really his lane. Now he can sign you and, you know, Put you in a different situation because it's better than the hood, but nah, he ain't, his track record not good as far as like a CEO. It just ain't like they ain't his lane. You still sign. Every rapper seen it, but you. So evidently you needed a nigga. Evidently you ain't have a lot of other options. Jay Z wasn't calling you at the time, talking about some rock nation. They ain't never call you back then. Before the fame, when you was coming up, ain't no big dogs call you. Yo, God ain't call you. Now you saying his name. QC the label, they ain't call you. Nigga Sauce Walker ain't call you. Money Bad Yo ain't call you. Money Man ain't call you. Yeah, nigga. 
Nigga, you should have went to a major. Tell me what a major, what Rock Nation told you. Nigga, well, why you ain't go with Rock Nation? Oh, they ain't call you at that time, right? They called you after everything blew up, right? You talked to them after, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, nigga, why sell ain't call you? <laughs> Think it's a game ain't call you? Death Row ain't even call you. Who called you? If all these labels, these big dog, Interscope, Jive Records, Atlantic, Griffin, uh, Def Jam, like all these labels, man, if they called you, why you go with Boosie? Because he the really street nigga. He got the most biters on his belt. Like, what, what made you go with him? Yeah, all these offers. You was that nigga before Boosie. You was that nigga, Blue. So why would you go with Boosie? You got all these big major labels and these rap labels. Come on, man. Shit ain't making sense, man. Shit ain't making sense, man. So, nigga, you acting like you ain't gonna be in the hole with these major labels. You acting like you some big superstar. Nigga, you gonna be in the hole with the major labels too when it's all said and done. They paying for all these promos and these tours and these trips and whatever. You gonna be in the hole and you ain't selling the records or making the hit records. I'm selling 30,000, 20,000 first week, shit like that. Yeah, hey, you ain't what you doing with your money? I ain't heard you spent three hundred thousand for one record. You ain't spending the money like Nicki Minaj spending, or Lil Wayne was spending, or Birdman was spending for his artists. You ain't spending that. Let's call Ebro. How much Young Blue is spent on the record? Let's call these big, these big giants. Let's call these radio stations. How much Young Blue really spent on the record with his own money? Now you getting all these millions. Is you spending it on one record? Go ahead and be a big dog with that marketing budget, man. Yeah, go up to the radio, whoever you got to talk to, give them 200000 Wait about seven weeks, six weeks, give them another 200000 Go back, do your shows, do your shows, then give them all that money, another 200000 Before you know you just spent a million dollars on one record, 800000 on one record, big dog. Yeah, be your own marketing. You understand? Let us see. Let us see where you go. Where you end up at? At the top? Or the charts? If Boosie wasn't never doing nothing for you, why did you big him up in the beginning? He wasn't doing nothing for you back then. You should have told him, nigga, I don't need no jury. Nigga, that ain't my fan base. I don't need this. I don't need no meat coat. I don't need that. Yeah, like, I don't need your audience. Let me build my own shit. I don't need to stand beside you. Don't repost me. Don't do nothing. Let me build my own shit. Then... You could do all that there. You ain't do none of that. You was bigging them up. Say ain't doing this. Say ain't doing that. You the only one gave me a chance. Yeah. So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You tripping, huh? But it's all right, though. That major deal that you got, or whoever you signed with, they gonna spend all that money. Quarter million, hundred thousand. And you ain't gonna sell the records. You ain't gonna produce the hit records. <laughs> and watch you be right back in the hole. A deeper hole. A deeper hole. You understand? So, nigga, shit, you'll see. The tables, they turn. So, everybody gonna get their karma. You gonna get your karma, and Boosie gonna get his. If he did wrong, he gonna get his. He getting his. His daughter, cases. He getting his shit, so it's gonna be your turn, too. You gonna be complaining like all the other big dogs. If all the other big dogs complaining about their labels, you gonna complain about yours. You ain't even on their level. You ain't on any level, so you gonna complain too. We ain't gonna turn you up that much. You ain't gonna sell uh, two hundred thousand copies, hundred thousand. You ain't gonna do that we ain't gonna, unless you come out with these hit records, these bangers. You do that now and then. Hey, you will change the game on these hoes. Change the game like we suppose. Yeah, you do that. But if you ain't doing that, nigga, you fuck. You understand? So, you know, just stop acting like a little hoe, man. Like, there's other ways to win a battle. Win a war. You trying to win a little argument. Throwing niggas' names and shit, nigga. Nigga, everybody got fucked over and shit went right. Boosting got fucked over with labels and disagreements. Nigga, everybody got, you know, took the bad end of the deal, nigga. You be all right, nigga. You'll shake back. You got hit records right. You a good artist right. Nigga. So nigga relax, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, nigga. 
It's Better Days, nigga. Tupac had an album called Better Days. It was double disc. I bought that album, nigga. It was double disc. Yeah, nigga. It's gonna be Better Days, nigga.